Boa tarde, gente. Espero que tenha um ótimo dia. I hope you guys are having a good day. Good afternoon. Uh, this is your man, Larry, American Brazilian. I just wanted to uh, jump on briefly. I've been doing that a lot lately. But anyway, I wanted to talk really briefly about a, a live stream that I saw. Well, I think it was more so when I saw it. It was a live stream, but when I saw it, it was pre-recorded. And that was uh, with Austin Holloman. I think he had uh, Dre, Andre from Love uh, Crossing Borders. He had Aaron Ferris from Black Man Travels, a host of other brothers uh, who are content creators. And he had AMS. Uh, interestingly enough, when AMS came on the show, initially I thought, okay, well, this is interesting. I wonder what, what this is gonna, uh, what's gonna become of this, right? But uh, he came on not necessarily to refute per se or rebut. He just came to, I guess you can say, provide his point of view. And it was a healthy, respectful uh, discourse, dialogue. And uh, I think he left with a little bit of understanding. I, I can't say that the other guys, uh, well, we, it's kind of like, I see what you see, but you don't see what I see. And so I think for guys who are in the passport and travel community, it's like, we see what you see, AMS, but you don't see what, what I see. And that doesn't make us better than you or you better than us. It's just kind of a difference in, in perceptions um, uh, to a degree. Uh, but anyway, uh, AMS brought out a point and he was saying that one of his points was that uh, you can you don't need to go overseas to find a woman who can be submissive and uh, fit and cooperative and, and, and things of that nature. You can they can he believe they can be found right here. And um, so he also talked about, uh, uh, you know, about, you know, resources and stuff like that. And Andre from Love Across Crossing Borders so eloquently put it, shout out to Andre, that, you know, with the resources that he made while he was in America, he makes the same, if not more, where he is right now. And actually it's more because there are just certain subsidies that are granted to people like expats who are working uh, in other countries. There are certain tax breaks uh, that, that they get uh, that the people here don't get. So you can make $150,000 in Colombia or Brazil or places like that. And it's actually $150. In fact, it's more so depending on the arbitrage or the rate of exchange, uh, it could be as much as 6000 or more, depending on the, the, the rate that the dollar is uh, in compared to that, that nation's currency. And uh, it's amazing just looking at, uh, and, I, and I give a shout out to AMS. He literally looking at his uh, 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 facial expressions when Andre was breaking that down. He was like, you know what? Okay. I mean, it's like he understood that. And, um, and Aaron said something because, um, you know, AMS basically said that wherever you go, you have to be alpha. And, you know, nobody can dispute that. Nobody would refute that. You know, you don't want to be a pushover anywhere you go here or, or, or wherever. Um, but the thing I think that uh, Aaron Ferris brought out, he said, why would you want to go through all of that? Like, why would you have to go through all of that? And the thing that I thought about, I said, you know, the thing I, that I believe that a lot of people who are relationship or dating coaches don't take into account is if they're not careful, they will literally train somebody to become a caricature of who they are or, uh, uh, yeah, of who they are. So in other words, I'm not going to be number one of who I am. I'm going to be a good number two of you. And that's, that's, that's a losing strategy. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I thought about, you know, business, the business of America, uh, something that I think I talked about uh, a while ago, and that was this. You know, when I was in business school, we learned that a good portion of any company or every company's um, <clears throat> uh, uh, bottom line is geared toward marketing. And it's done so, uh, their belief of most companies, uh, successful companies is this. If I can't get, I can't get your money if I can't get my product into the forefront of your thinking, if I can't create a jingle that stays on your mind or in your ear, if I can't get you ultimately to believe that you can't exist without my product or that you need my product to either make you better or to help streamline whatever it is that you're doing, cooking, dressing, whatever. And I thought about America uh, as a corporation. And, and it's ironically, uh, the professor at that time, he told us, that America is uh, has the best marketing strategy scheme in the world because we are the only country that can continually have mass shootings uh, disproportionately treat people 
uh, 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 with a, a certain level of disrespect that the entire world can see. And yet we are the number one country where immigrants are trying to get to. But what's not said is this. We are also the number one country that Americans are trying to leave and that are leaving. So on one hand, you got foreigners coming here, but you got Americans going here. So just like ships passing. Uh, but we're not going to tell you that part. I mean, because, you know, as with any company, you know, we, as with every corporation, we want to tell you, we want to convince you that you need our product. We're not going to talk, talk to you about litigation. We're not going to talk to you about the losses that we're taking, because now that could kind of, uh, be, it could be definitely be counterproductive to our end goal. And what is that? To make money. So anyway, I dropped my glasses. Anyway, um, well, I'll keep them there. I just hope I don't step on them. Anyway, um, yeah, I thought it was a, a, a definitely, uh, it, I thought definitely it, it was a, a good recourse. Uh, it was a, a great interview. And uh, I'll probably end up watching it again because it was pretty cool. Also, I'm going to say this, and, and I didn't want to say this, but I'm going to say it. So I got my logo finished. It's trademark. I owned it. I got some shirts being printed up right now. As soon as I get the shirts, I am going to put them on here, probably on like a storyboard. And I am going to have a giveaway in that giveaway uh, it'll, you know, I'll figure out how I'm going to get, it'll probably be something about how, you know, what do you think of this channel? How does this channel help you? What are some insights that you gain on this channel? And I also want to let people know I'm not choosing the winner. It's going to be a system, an algorithm basically that chooses the winner. And I think that's going to be something that's going to be pretty cool. Anyway, listen, this is your man, Larry saying, Ate bravi, uh, Ate mañana, uh, follow Convoce Mais Taji, or have I learned, uh, as I learned from a friend of mine, Falamos, uh, falamos my stagy. Uh, we'll talk later. And uh, remember, no day of Jogo do, day of Jogo. Don't hate the player, hate the game. This is your man Larry, the American Brazilian. Everybody dies.